96. And then from the 96, what do we do? And how much are we going to get? 99 eighths. Oh, 101 over 8. You could check your work, right, by dividing that and then subtracting. That would work. Now, the next one, I've given you an improper fraction. So 14 over 5, that's improper. We're going to change that into a mixed number by dividing. So 5 goes into 14 two times. We'll get 10. Subtract, we get 4. So we're going to have 5 and 2 fourths. How many have we got both those right? Good, 5 and 2 fourths. Now, we haven't talked about simplifying, but we're going to do that in the next section, maybe in about five minutes. We'll start talking about simplifying. We'll be able to make this a little bit simpler. Wait a minute. Is that right? No. No, it's two and two. Just making sure? Gee, oh my goodness. What did I do wrong? It's a common mistake that people make all the time. Four bits. Just checking to make sure you guys are still awake. I see kind of like, uh, some zoned out eyes out there. Just checking. Just checking. Oh, yeah. You guys pass. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely two and four fifths. We take our whole number first and then we write our fraction part after that. Next one, do we have a mixed number or is this improper? Which is this? Improper. That's improper. Very good. So when we divide, we'll have 26 divided by 3. 3 goes into 26, how many times does that go over? Eight times. Eight times. Subtract and we get? Two. So we'll have what? Eight and two-thirds. Last two, we're going from, what are these known as? We're changing those into improper's. So we're going to multiply, we'll get 63. We'll add four, we'll get? The denominator does not change. Doesn't change. Next up, we'll do our five times eight, that's 40. We'll add one, we'll get 41 over eight. We're good to go. How many will feel okay with changing improper to mixed number and mixed number to improper? Good. That ends our section 4.1.